Hey everyone, Shannon here. Today, I'm going to teach you how to build a time machine like the one in the short film, Control Z. Just kidding, it was a dark room door. Uh, but I will show you the actual visual effects that I used to create the time machine travel effect using Adobe After Effects. Check out the full scene. All right, so we are here in the actual composition that was used in the film from After Effects, and this was from 2015. So you can see I have a couple, <laughs> a little more than a couple of comps in here, and they're just going to take a little bit to load, but you're going to see the lightning bolt effect that is used in After Effects, and I will show you how I actually got that and it actually it animates itself which is which is pretty cool so I use that to save some time um we're actually on a time crunch here and this is another one uh, another animation that was generated from After Effects to use so if we go into my main composition I have a few uh, atmospheres so you can see a few of these welding sparks I use and I just turned blue, colorized them blue. Uh, I have uh, a smoke effect in here at the end, so you can see the smoke wisping through the scene. And that was actually from Andrew Kramer Video Co-Pilot's um, effect kit. So if I go into my actual effect composition, you can see it's getting pretty crazy with all of these auto-generated lightning bolts. Uh, I have a few firecrackers in here um, that are actual mob files and a few sparks to kind of bring that whole effect together. You can see that it's just a black solid that was generated, but I added the advanced lighting effect to it. This lightning bolt is very simple. You just right click in the effect controls panel and you hit generate advanced lighting. And it's super cool. You can change the light lighting type to breaking. Um, it just gives you a little bit of a different animation. You can change the origin of it, the direction that the bolt is going, the color that you want. Um, so I wanted more of like this, this light blue color. Maybe someone wants like this awesome like death red color here. Um, so it's an awesome effect and you could keep multiplying these. Um, let's just see, I could hit control D here, control D, control D, and we can offset the position of each of them. And again, I'm just playing around here. Um, nothing really, but maybe if we wanted to cover up, you know, a whole scene with these awesome killer red lightning bolts, say you have a super villain in your film, you could do this um, to kind of show off their mega powers. And pretty much you can see I, I duplicated the shit out of them um, just to make, just to cover up this whole effect. And I probably could have done a better job with the lighting and the shadows cast over the actual darkroom door, um, but it got the point across. And that is just one of the visual effects worked on throughout the film, and it was my personal favorite. So link to that film is in the description. Thanks for watching. If you see more tutorials and tips from the Adobe Creative Suite, check out my channel and other videos here.